Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Life with Sandy. Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, and we have a birthday today. Today is Terry Goda's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Terry. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And we also have an anniversary because today is Star and Tony Norris's 53rd anniversary. I mean, it's quite breezy out here today. Star was one of the very first subscribers. I say that all the time, but she was one of the, I think she was like the second subscriber um, to Denise's channel back in 2015 when she started it as Let's Get Fit. But today is Star and Tony Norris's anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great anniversary. 53 years. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. I've, I've finished cleaning my house. I've done two loads of laundry. I've changed the sheets on the bed. I've got quite a lot accomplished this morning. Um, I finished my book last night, Everything We Didn't Say. I would highly recommend this book by Nicole Bear, B-A-A-R-T. Um, it was very suspenseful. I like the style of writing. Uh, it was about um, a murder that happened like 14 years previously. And what they did was like one chapter would be current and then the next chapter would be 14 years ago. And then the next chapter would be current and then 14 years ago. So you kind of like got the story and you got the perspective from both then now and then so i would definitely definitely recommend that book it's it's just really good chris come up with some really good this is some kind of a book club that she belongs to the b-o-t i guess that she gets these books and i haven't gotten i haven't received one book from her that i didn't like i'm telling you they were all very very good so the next book i'm going to read is the lies i tell it sounds familiar but when i was reading the the title sounds familiar but then when i was reading the uh the story the synopsis meg williams maggie littleton melody wild different names for the same person depending on the town depending on the job she's a con artist who erases herself to become whoever you need her to be a college student, a life coach, a real estate agent, but nothing about her is real. She slides alongside you and tells you exactly what you want to hear. And by the time she's done, you're likely lost everything. Um, I've been thinking that this was going to be the book I was going to read next because I kind of push it, push it to the side. And it's well, how many pages is it? I always like to see how many pages it is. I don't know why. What difference does it make? It really doesn't. But this one is... And it's about the author. They always have a little chapter at the end that tells you all about them. 290 pages. So that'll be a quick read. Because this other one was 350, I think. And I did that in a day and a half. Once I got started with it. You know that other one I was reading? Yeah, 350 pages. That other one took me forever and a day to finish. But that was on vacation. And like my cousin Lynn pointed out, I did read two books when I was in uh, Minnesota. Uh, I read uh, The Sparrow, and I also read um, a biography-type thing of Tombstone, which was very interesting. It was really, really interesting. I find that I read way more in the summer because I can sit outside here where I just feel so much more relaxed. I just, this is like my happy place is sitting outside. It really is. It's just... <sighs> but you know what? That being said, I don't want to live in a state where the weather doesn't change. I just love the seasons because when winter comes here, I'm going to love that too. Not as much as I love summer, but I'm still going to love it just as much because, uh, well, not just as much, but I'm still going to love it. I, I, I like the changing seasons. Um, I, I love like the fall when the fall colors come. I, I love everything about 
everything in Michigan. I really do. It's just not so much the transportation issues <laughs> because we are the Motor City, Detroit, so we don't have any kind of mass transit systems, which makes it difficult for people to get around. But um, I have a car. Jim had to bring the truck in today because he went to get an oil change and then there was something with the some kind of plate underneath the transmission something that was cracked or something $250 later we got that fixed so he's uh, at work right now I guess he went on his lunch hour to get that done he had to make an appointment to get that done and a lot of you have been asking me about uh, if I'm going to show my food again um, I do plan on eventually showing you my food again. I'm not really sure how this is working right now. I, like I said, I had two pound loss yesterday. I was very ecstatic about that. And that was even going off the rails for two days. So I only can imagine. Um, I did uh, upload the My Fitness Pal app and they have you, give you a 30 day free trial. Um, I like it, but not enough to pay for the, th I think it was $19 a month, which I was paying 20 some dollars for Weight Watchers. Um, I don't know that it's worth $19 a month because there's so many different um, apps out there that are free that, that give you the calorie count. Now that I know how many calories I really need to lose a pound a week, which uh, they figured they I did like an assessment test, kind of like you do with Weight Watchers, that uh, they took how old I was, how tall I was, how much I weigh presently, and uh, and then they asked different questions. And I like, I just wanted to be healthy type of thing. So that's when they figured out that if I had 1580, 1580 calories a day, I could lose a pound a week. So some days I was under that and two days I was way over that. So it kind of balanced out in the long run. But once I'm really comfortable with it, um, I don't have a problem showing you my food. I really don't. Um, I find that when I, I do, I have been double tracking with Weight Watchers and with the uh, My Fitness Pal, and I'm way, way, way over on my points in Weight Watchers, but I'm under my 1,500 calories. Or I'm going to say 1,600. We'll just round it off. 1,600 cal. I'm way under the 1,600 calories, and I, I don't feel hungry, which makes me not want to think that oh, I got to have some food, you know, type of thing. So. Um, once I'm, once I'm comfortable enough with that, I will start showing my food again. Part of what my channel is, it's life with me. It's just how my ups and downs and um, getting into the 40s was just very disheartening for me. And just, it really was what I needed to slap me back into place because I have like a doctor scale where you have to put that big clunk over like from 200 to 250. Um, I swore when I clunked it from 250 back to 200 that I would never get it over, the, get back to that 250 mark. And I was inching close there. I was 245.4. I was getting pretty darn close. And it, it was scaring me back into reality. It really did. Now, I know I also said that I would never get into the next set of digits. And then look at I've done that. I went from 209 to 219 to 229 to 239 to 245. But, um, something snapped this this was recently and uh and so it just it just makes you be realistic of, of what's going on in your life and uh and i was letting food kind of consume me i knew that i was gonna uh go on vacation and and have a good time but stay within reason and like i said i went to the ice cream place i had pizza i went out to eat a couple times um I, I just had chips and dip, had pop. You know, I had all of the things, the cookies, those Otis Spunkmeyer cookies. I had my share of those. <laughs> I definitely had my share of those. But um, now I'm ready to really get back and get back to back to business. I really am ready to get back to business. And I think that if you're optimistic about anything, that it's always going to lead to success. And I really haven't been that optimistic this past year about my weight loss journey. I've been really struggling. I really, last year was, you know, like 2020, I did really well. And then 2021, I thought, oh, the world has opened up to me. I can do whatever I want. And then 2022 was the realization that, no, that's not really, you gained all of 2021. You know, any weight you lost in 2020, you, you gained back and you added to it for 2022, the beginning of 2022. And, uh, it just, um, it really, 
it really got me discouraged, not optimistic about my plans. Um, and so, and I do tend to beat myself up. I, I know this, I would never talk to other people the way I talk to myself. I realize that as I'm saying this, but um, it's just something I've done my whole life. But I, I'm really optimistic that I'm gonna turn it around. I really do. I really think that I, I just need a change. Uh, a lot of times I stayed with Weight Watchers because I like doing the eating highlights. And I thought, you know, like I used the app. I, I didn't really use them for the the bonus points, although I did use them a couple times to get some stuff. Um, I've donated my other points that are left because there's nothing I really want. But I mean, I, I got the socks, which I did like. I got the salad jars, which I really liked. Um, oh, I got some overnight bags. I got a cooler bag. I mean, I, I did get some stuff along the way. But uh, so I kind of balanced it out thinking, well, you know, you're spending $21 a month. You're kind of getting something in return at least. But now, uh, I don't know. I know this. Hopefully it's not too pushing on the microphone. Let's hope not. But um, anyway, so uh, I, I have decided that that I am definitely going to leave Weight Watchers. I'm going to put in my notice. The the funny thing is when I did my meeting highlights the other day, the email when I, I showed you, when I clicked it, it didn't, it didn't bring me to the whole meeting topic. And then uh, that night I got another email from Weight Watchers after I'd already done the meeting highlights. And uh, it was the entire email. And so I probably just did it a little bit too soon. Who's to know? I don't know. But um, but I, I really think that I'm very really confident this time. I'm just maybe not overly confident, but I'm pretty confident this time. And I know we've all heard this in the past. You know, oh my gosh, she's finally found a program. She's going to really work with this program. But um, I, I really... I think that this is the, the thing for me, at least for the next month or two, at least for that. And uh, who's to know, maybe if Weight Watchers changes something again, I, which they usually do. I don't know if this is the changing year or the tweaking year. I never can keep track. But uh, I, um, I, I just think that it's time for Weight Watchers and me to part ways. But I also know that I love trying to not only encourage you but to encourage myself and so with the meeting highlights it really it really does help me so I'm still planning on Mondays which that's my weigh-in day to do um, my weigh-in to let you know how I'm doing each week I do plan on doing that and um, I also plan on coming up with some kind of a subject of my own each week to talk about that's going to encourage us for weight loss now I'm not guaranteeing it'll be as good as a Weight Watcher meeting highlight but um, it'll be things that I'll have thought of for that week or something that I, my goal is for that week, something that train of thought that I want to follow for the week. And um, and we'll go from there. I really, uh, I know that I'm going to lose subscribers because a lot of you are just hanging on here because of Weight Watchers. And I would like to think that you would just stay just to see me. <laughs> but I understand completely that you want to have uh, something more weight related. Uh, even though this is Life with Sandy and I do share my life, the majority of my life right now is concentrating on being healthy and uh, just knowing that, you know, I, I know that I've always, you know, nobody ever thinks of themselves as being beautiful or being pretty or like, you know, I don't think of myself as a beautiful person. I don't think of myself as like, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous she is. But I don't think of myself as being ugly either. So I think that I have to start thinking of myself is not thinking of like, oh, well, at least she's not ugly. It's like, you know what? I have my own inner quality. I have my own inner beauty. And um, I, I need to just know that I need to um, express it more often. And just know that now that I'm trying to get healthier once again, because let's face it, I haven't eaten healthy this year. I mean, I've tried. I've steered clear of some things. But I've brought a lot of processed foods into my body that I really haven't been doing for the longest time. But this year, for some reason, gave myself permission to have processed foods. And processed foods leads to binging for me. And I know this, but still, I still do it. But uh, I'm determined just now just to, to concentrate on just being healthy. And, and knowing that I have an inner beauty in myself, whether it shows in my looks, which I know it doesn't, but I think my personality, and, and I don't mean it in a bragging sort of way, but I, I just think that you know, we all have our own qualities of life that we should grasp onto and know that this is our 
this is us. This is me. This is who I am. And um, I know I am without an edit button. I know that. I tell you things that that probably other people shouldn't tell you. And that I'll tell you a story, something that probably somebody wouldn't tell you, but I will tell you. <laughs> we went, when we were traveling um, from Duluth to Redwood Falls, um, and this will just prove to you I have no edit buttons. <laughs> but this is the beauty of me. <laughs> we were traveling and we stopped at a rest area to go to the, use the restroom, obviously. That's why you stop at a rest area. And the toilets were really, really low. It was almost like a child size, in my opinion, <laughs> child size toilet. And the, and the stall was very, very small. It was just like I just barely fit in the stall. And I sat down, did my business, got all done. And I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. I, I didn't, I, I, I was like rocking and, you know, like, and I didn't want to touch the toilet and I didn't want to touch the walls. Although I, I'm going to wash my hands when I'm done anyhow, but I, I didn't want to do any of this stuff. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I can't get up. And so then I'm like swinging, and swinging. Nothing's working. Nothing's working. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I am stuck on this toilet. How humiliating, how embarrassing. This just proves to me that I'm getting too much weight on me. <laughs> I can't even get up off the toilet. Now, mind you, it was a very low toilet. It really was a low toilet, but it didn't seem like anybody else was having any issues. And so then my cousin had come in and she was washing. I could, she was finished and she was washing her hands. And I'm thinking, am I going to ask her to come here? Because you know, I could just reach and unlock the door and she could come in and help me up. And I'm thinking, no, this is this is humiliating in itself. And with that, just gave myself a and got up. <laughs> But it was just, it was just a realistic moment at that time to just to know that, uh, you know what, Sandy, the reason you couldn't get up is because you put so much weight on and now you're, before you were just used to picking up 30 pounds less from a sitting position, but now you have 30 pounds added on. And so, uh, face the reality, girl, you need to start losing some weight. And with that moment, it did kind of tweak me back into watching what I ate because it was like, this is like. This was a telling moment for me. It really was. But only for so long, because as soon as we got to the hotel and I smelled those Otis Smunkmeyer cookies, I had two of them. <laughs> so the thought left my mind just as fast as it went in. Like, oh, you need to start losing some weight. Oh, <gasps> cookies. There's cookies. They're free. <laughs> so, and there, I proved to you I have no edit button. The beauty of Sandy. <laughs> That's just we. But... um but just remember, you have to be confident in yourself and, you're, and how optimistic you are is going to depend on how successful you are. You, know, you can always say, oh, you know, what's the use of trying? You know, I've tried. I can say this to myself. You know, you've been doing this since December 30th, 2016, and you've lost 60 pounds. whoop de ding Six years, that's 10 pounds a year. Wow, wow, wow. But you know what? I could have been 60 pounds heavier. That's just as easily could have happened for me. And... Um, but I have to be a little bit more optimistic and not think of that. Don't think of it in those terms. Today is day one. Tomorrow is day one again. And the following day is day one. If I mess up today, I'm going to start again tomorrow. And I have to get back to that thought process, that mentality. Because when I had that mentality, it was really working for me. This year, when I screwed up, I've said to myself, well, let's just wait till Monday. And I did wait until Monday and then gained more weight. Uh, I'm no longer following that philosophy anymore. I didn't realize my flag keeps blowing in here. I just noticed that just now. But um, anyway, I'm easily distracted too. I, uh, I'm i very optimistic that each day is going to be day one. And, uh, and I might have a successful day and everything can go completely right. And I'm not going to think of tomorrow as day two. I'm going to think of it as day one once again. And every day I'm going to think of it as day one. Because how many of us start a diet... And we're so good on that very first day. So good on that very first day. And then the second day, we kind of waver a little bit. By the third day, so that's when we're really getting tempted. My new philosophy is every day is my first day. And we'll see how that works for me. So stick around with me. Stick around for at least my birthday and see. Because I'm hoping by my birthday to be back in the 30s. Back in the 30s again. Which is in three weeks. Is it three weeks from today? No, three weeks from tomorrow. Right? Today's the 16th, 23rd, 30th. No, wait a minute. Got to think of this for a minute. Okay, watch the brain work. Watch the brain work. Today's the 16th, then the 23rd, then the 30th. And then the 6th. Yep, yep. 
three weeks from tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, um, so you guys can give me some uh, suggestions on topics I can research to, to do. I'm still going to do the highlights for, I think my membership ends the 30th of August. So I still have two more Weight Watcher meetings that I can still do. But after that, I'm open to suggestions on things that you think I can research and talk about. Because uh, I do still plan on being a weight loss channel while I'm sharing my life. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe, be kind, be nice, be healthy, all that good stuff. Talk to you guys tomorrow.